Our previous video showed you how to set up your Wi-Fi, but if you're still experiencing problems connecting to your network, then this video is for you. Wi-Fi networks are complex environments with multiple parts that may be stopping your Landroid from connecting to the Wi-Fi. In our previous video, we listed four of the most common connection problems and how to fix them. The Landroid is not close enough to the router and doesn't have a strong enough signal. Your Wi-Fi network is not on the 2.4 GHz frequency. Your Landroid and your mobile are not on the same Wi-Fi network. Or you've entered the wrong Wi-Fi password. Fixing one or all of these should ensure that you get a successful pairing. Remember, if you've recently changed your router or your internet service provider, your Wi-Fi settings may well have changed too, and you will need to adjust them. Whilst you are logged onto your router, please make sure that the following settings have also been correctly set. Firstly, make sure that your router is set to DHCP and is automatically assigning an IP address to the Landroid. Now check that your Wi-Fi is broadcasting on the 2.4 GHz frequency. Many routers can broadcast on both the 2.4 and 5 GHz frequencies, in which case temporarily disable the 5 GHz band while pairing and then re-enable it again afterwards. Check that the Wi-Fi mode is set to BGN mixed. And finally check that the channel width is set to 20 MHz. Router interfaces can vary considerably, but all of these settings should be easy to do. If you're still unable to pair the Landroid, then here are a couple of further ideas to try. Your router's firewall could be blocking the Landroid and preventing it from connecting to the network. Log on to your router and temporarily disable the firewall. If in doing so your Landroid is now able to connect to the Wi-Fi, then you have identified the problem. Make a note of the Landroid's MAC address. You may need this. Once connected, go back to your router and enable the firewall again. If it continues to block the Landroid while enabled, you may need to whitelist it. That means telling the firewall that the Landroid is not a threat on the network. Go to the Security Access Control section of your router interface and add the Landroid to the whitelist. If you're able to, a good idea is to map your Landroid device to a set of ports on the network. To do this, go to the Port Forwarding section and allow the Landroid device access to ports 53, 80, 443 and 8883. This should fix any problems with a firewall blocking your Landroid. If your Landroid is a model from 2019 or later, you can try a manual USB configuration using a downloaded file and an empty FAT32 formatted USB stick. Log on to your Works Landroid account, go to your Moas page and click on the Wi-Fi configuration box. Enter your network name and password and download the JSON file. Copy the JSON file to the root of the USB stick. Turn your Landroid on and insert the stick. Follow the LCD screen instructions. For older models, wait until you read USB on the display and then wait for a further 30 seconds before removing the stick. This manual method of configuring the Wi-Fi setup can be an effective means of bypassing some of the trickier problems with older machines. For more assistance on this, you can contact Landroid Support to get further help and guidance. If, at this point, you are still unable to complete the pairing process, the next step should be to set up a mobile hotspot and run a tethering test to make sure that your mobile and Landroid are functioning correctly. To do this, get a second smartphone and set up a mobile hotspot. If you're using an iPhone, select the Maximize Compatibility option on the Personal Hotspot page. Now connect your first phone to the mobile hotspot you've just created and then try to pair your Landroid through this mobile hotspot as well. If the Landroid is able to connect, then it would suggest the problem lies with your home network configuration and not with the Landroid itself. If this is the case, your best option would be to contact your internet service provider, explaining the problems you're experiencing and the steps you've taken to fix them. They know your router and network best and a better place to provide the help you need. You are welcome to contact the Landroid support team, but please be aware that they won't be able to troubleshoot a home network configuration problem. Every router and ISP is different. 
it's simply too difficult to do. We hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching.